Hey, Johnny Mosley here for Peter Glenn Ski and Sports. I mean, it is a spectacular day out here in Lake Tahoe at Squaw Valley. It's one of my favorite times of year. Definitely get out here and ski in the spring if you can. Actually, secret, secret, top secret. Michaela Schifrin is training right over there. Top secret, top secret location. And we have that much snow. Um, it's May something, so. Um, anyway, testing out all the gear for next year so you don't have to. Uh, I'm talking about the Marmot Freerider pant in Citronelle right here. And if you look really closely, these pants are a little dirty. Do you know why? Because I wore them so much last year testing them for you and I love them. Um, I, I, killed, I have put so many hours on these pants and there's literally not like one single even little itty bit of roughness or tear in the leg. I mean, the scuff guard doesn't even show any, usually by the end of a season a pair of pants will show, because I hit my, my scuff guards all the time with my edges, this thing did not cut at all, which I really appreciate, because it's really annoying when your scuff guard uh, gets cut, then snow gets inside, and then it's big and bulky and heavy. Um, these pants are bomber. Let's start from the bottom and work our way up. Uh, that's got the Reco system to help you get discovered if you get caught in an avalanche, God forbid. Um, I actually love this little spot down here. Um, it's a nice, wide, easy zipper to get to your buckles, and it has a little button, so you can actually just leave this part a little bit unzipped, and you can reach your buckles without having to take the whole thing off. Really love that, very simple uh, pant. Uh, it's not insulated, of course it has a, a snow skirt uh, to go around your boot, that's very important. Uh, you would expect that from any pant you have. Definitely you need a snow skirt around the boot to keep the snow from going into the top of your boot and giving you an icy shin. Uh, but other than that, it's not insulated, okay? And I like that. I, I don't like a lot of bulk around my legs. I don't like a lot of insulation. If it's cold, I use layers, okay? I use, I always wear one pair of long underwear, a nice merino wool, we'll talk about that later if you can. Um, and then I have a second three quarter length piece, uh, which I'm gonna show you. I'll show you right now. Check out this three quarter length piece I'm running. I have this merino wool from point six right here. Okay, that's my, that's my first layer. No underwear under that. I just go straight long underwear. It goes in my boot. And then this is this really amazing third layer that Marmot makes. It's insulated only where you need it, up here. And it only goes three quarter length, so you don't have all that bulk inside your boot. They're amazing. And you can kind of walk around the lodge or the, the cabin and not feel like you're in a pair of tights, right? They're sort of like, allow you to have almost like a pair of sweatpants, but functional sweatpants around the lodge or if you're around the camp. Um, really love this little third layer insulated piece. That's how you solve it if you need, you know, if you're in a really cold climate. Okay, back to the pan. I'll pull my pants up. Was that enough? I know, too much? Too much? Anyway, really into that. Uh, third layer, we'll talk about those in a second. Let me put my pants back on and we'll talk about the rest of this uh, Citronelle uh, Freerider pant. Um, I really love the material. It's kind of a rough, almost like a Cordura material. Uh, it's mobile, but very durable, like I said. I love the pocket setup on the Marmot pant, this Freerider pant. Uh, it's got, they're just straight up. So when you're on the chair, it's easy to get into your pocket but you don't feel like stuff's gonna fall out if you leave it unzipped. And that's really important, because sometimes I like to leave my stuff unzipped, right? Right? I leave my stuff unzipped. Um, great garages for the zippers, so that you don't get water. You know, I tested these pants in a lot of rain and stuff, so you want, you want garages for the end of your zipper, because that's where water can intrude, and that can just defeat the whole purpose of your awesome pants that have two-layer Gore-Tex. Did I mention they have two-layer Gore-Tex? That's guaranteed to stay dry. In the bumps, out in the back country, guaranteed to stay dry, especially on your pants. Spend the money, get a good two-layer Gore-Tex on your legs so your butt's not wet on the chairlift. And these were amazing all winter long. It has one back pocket uh, in the back for just hanging and wallets and all that type of stuff. Um, and then I love the slight angle on the jean pockets um, in the front. Uh, they're cool looking and that's kind of how I like to put my pockets. Okay, I think I covered it. That's the Marmot Freerider pant in Citronelle is the color. Has a tightening, it has a tightening gussets on the waist, but I always wear a belt with it, but you don't really need it. This is a size medium. Um, it's a little snug on me. This is a sample size uh, because I get the stuff so early so I can test it out. They're always mediums. 
so it's a little bit snug, but still uh, works with three layers underneath it, two layers underneath it, excuse me. But I probably would go with a large. Um, I am a 34 waist to 36, depending on the uh, Thanksgiving dinner or not. And uh, I have like a 30 in 32 inseam. So if, in case you wanted to know my measurements, um, roughly I would normally wear a large in this suit. I'm 5'11", 185. All right, that's enough information about me. All right, you can check out all my reviews at peterglenn.com. I hope you have a great season. I'm Johnny Mosley.